This week for my STEM homework, I will be talking about the technology used in a point shoe. This relates to STEM because it is in the under the area of technology. Now, a point shoe is something that is used in the style of ballet, in the certain style of dance called point. And in point, a dancer goes all the way up on the, their toes. It requires extremely strong ankles, and you have to have training so your feet aren't sickled and they're placed in the correct positions. But the other thing you'll need is point shoes, which is what I'm going to be talking about. Now, what a point shoe is, they have, there are these shoes, and they're hard, but they have this little cork hard spot at the bottom where your toe would be. There's a little platform, and your foot goes in this little box at the bottom. It's very tight and can really hurt your feet. A lot of people get blisters, so you have to have the correct protection with different band-aids, and these things you put on under your shoe called toe pads. Toe pads can be made out of different materials, and it's the dancer's choice of what kind of toe pad they want. You can have cloth toe pads, which are a little thinner, but a lot of people find them more comfortable, and they have a gel, which are thick, but can get kind of sticky. I like a combination of the gel and cloth, which one side would be cloth and one side is gel, and you can reverse, turn them inside and out so they're reversible, which I find really cool. Back before they had all these different kinds of technologies with the toe pad, what people would do is get a piece of wool or fabric or this thing called lamb's wool. They put it at the bottom of their shoe and then they'd use that. That's the only thing they'd have separating their toes from the f from this cork that's really hard on the floor. But that thinned down really easily. And it's great that they've really definitely improved the technology that can be used to help protect your feet and make it a little more comfortable. It's never going to get you completely comfortable, however. You're pointing your toes all the way and then standing up. It's pretty impressive to watch someone do it. And because I've just started, it's really hard to do. And I envy people <laughs> who can do it extremely well. So another element of the shoe is the ribbons that tie with it. So the ribbons could be cloth, they could be made out of an elastic material. Again, it depends on what the dancer likes or prefers. So you tie this around in a specific pattern. It crosses pretty much and then you wrap these ribbons around. You tie it in a tight knot and tuck it in inside that ribbon that you tied around. And that just helps it, the shoe actually stay attached to your feet. When you first receive your point shoes, they're not going to have ribbons pre-sewn on them or an elastic, which is needed also to help keep it to your foot. The dancer themselves needs to learn how to tie or how to sew these elastics and ribbons on. So it takes a while and it's done by hand. What you can do to make sure that the stitches don't come out is use either a really strong quilting thread or an actual point shoe thread although those are more expensive another thing you can use which is just works just as well and is much less expensive is dental floss and that's what I use you just use it like normal thread thread it in your needle and there you go you're good to go so as for the point shoe itself there are many different kinds you can get depending on your type of feet. They have lots of different sizes both in width and length and toe height and the arch of your foot. I have one with a little bit of a pre-arch at the bottom so it kind of helps me point my foot and it helps me give, give my whole leg and foot a prettier line. So I really like that about these shoes. Now what I would do to improve the technology of these shoes is that they are really not comfortable and I think most point dancers okay maybe all of them would love for point to feel comfortable but unfortunately no matter how much protection you get it's not gonna be ever be comfortable or everybody would be doing it 
there's kind of a reward that goes along with putting, like, going through the pain in order to get such a beautiful image created with your body and your feet. But I think that they should definitely look into trying to line the shoe itself with a toe pad would be good. Like, you can have gel lined. I think that would just be a good idea. And maybe even sell even more varieties of toe pads to try to get creative with different kinds they can do. Thank you for listening to my STEM homework this week, and goodbye.